Hello homeschoolers! Welcome back to the land of Kakiak. Uh, my name is Laurel and I homeschool my three boys using the Robinson curriculum as the base of our education. Today's video is going to be my resource and curriculum choices for my upcoming third grader. Okay, so William is going to be a third grader um, next year. He's really on the young side for his grade level, like his birthday, like we'll already have started third grade, he'll still be seven. He'll, his birthday's like in late September. So that's why I feel like grade level is so deceiving because kids can be like like a full year apart in age and development and everything. So that's why I'm kind of just letting you know he's a very, very young third grader, but um, he seems to be doing well in school, so that's why I didn't I just went ahead and started because I thought he was ready. Anyways, all the, sorry, that's like a total rabbit trail. <laughs> Back to our curriculum choices. Let's just start with math. So we are, you know, we follow the RC track for math for the most part. So we're just trying to master our math facts. Um, and once those are done, then we will start by four. That's the plan. So um, he's clipping along. Actually, this week we started introducing division. So you saw me make this book a while back. Um, I'll, I'll find it, I'll link it if you haven't, my DIY math book. Um, so this one was in division. So this is my own math worksheets that I made um, and kind of like a progression. And again, I'll, if you want to see it in a lot of detail, uh, I'll put that video down below for you. Um, and then I also added in the Olney's worksheets in the back. Those are free. So we are going to be working through division. So I'll probably just use mostly, you know, this for our worksheet type on paperwork. Another resource that I picked up is these triangle math flashcards. I, look, I like how minimal. They came in nice little boxes to hold them already. So you don't have to try to find something to put them in. So you just take the little top off and they all fit in here very nicely and they look like this, right? It's fact families. You see that? Right? So 90 divided by 6 is 15. Uh, 90 divided by 15 is 6. And it has like a little conceptual thing on the back. To, um, these you can keep in here and they've come with these little dividers too. See it says, don't know yet. And... Um, sort of no, <laughs> and mastered. So you can, you know, organize in those, those you know, I always did um, practice more on deck and mastered. That's what I always, uh, how I always, like, but I might cross those out and change those. That's how I organize our math facts when I just use the regular flashcards. So I got this tip about triangle, um, the math fact families and the little triangles from Karen over at our house. And so, yeah, I'll probably be using these along the way. A math worksheet from his workbook, um, his flashcards from his study more, you know, pile. And if we have time, then a math fact game. Cause that gives him something to work towards that he like stays on task and gets his stuff done cause he loves playing those games because he's competitive. <laughs> But I'll link these down below for you to look at. Anyways, I feel like a lot of teaching, a lot of like deciding what to do with your kids week to week is just in intuition, right? So moving on from math, yeah, let's talk about reading. So we have been reading the McGuffey's. He's almost done with the revised, the second reader. So according to the RC list, reading list, he should be able just to start his independent reading. So some of those books, we've kind of like, we use them for like science-y kind of things already in the past. Um, so he may not want to, especially like the, I use the um, Arthur Scott Bailey books, but there's more out there. So I may just have him try to read some of the other titles from those like Tuck Me and Tales and stuff, all those things about animals that, that are great for, they're actually great for science, for nature study stuff. So, I, but I'm going to continue to have him read just keep, with the McGuffey readers because I just, I like to, I like to see how he's progressing. I like to catch stuff. Um, I don't want him like reading it wrong in his mind, you know. 
So I'm going to continue to do daily lessons with the McGuffey readers. So we are going to move on to the third McGuffey reader, um, probably before. I might take a break, you know, this summer and just let him read on the reading list. Um, see how that goes. And then next year, start up with the McGuffey um, third reader. I'll show it to you. So this is my copy. I just have an old set. I do have, I am working on the copy work for this to go with this book. I actually have it all typed up because I, but I want to change the font and like mess with the formatting a little bit. So I do plan on having the copy books to go with the third reader for next year. I mean, I'll probably have it done before next year, but you know what I mean? It'll be ready for him because I wanted to do the copy work because we do a lot of practicing our grammar and stuff with the copy work. I'll just let him read because you know the lessons they take hardly any time at all to um, do and then I'll let him have we're gonna have independent reading time so that will be kind of like at the end of the day that will give him whatever RC book he's on to read at the end of the day and that reminds me about vocabulary um, because we don't I don't, I just, I just don't, I just don't track with the RC vocabulary um, plan. I'm going to make a separate video, an updated video about vocabulary in general. So I'll circle back to you on that one. Okay. So the next thing we're talking about is spelling. So I am still having him re doing our spelling based off of a program off the words from the McGuffey spelling book. And... So he will just be on McGuffey Spelling Level 3. This is my updated packet, and it's a weekly packet. Yeah, I've divided out. I've got spelling lists based off the book, and I've just divided them up into like weekly lessons, into groupings. And then he's got an activity for each day. And then the last day is a, of course, spelling test. So we'll see how it goes, um, and if he needs to redo a week or carry over some words, then we'll, yeah, that's what we do week to week. Um, I see about binding one all together. I might be just printing out a whole bunch and binding them all together so that um, I just have them all in one place. I did that recently for my sixth grader, and then for like writing and grammar. So he's going to be doing copy work, right, based off of his reading passages. But then I'm also going to continue on into the Gentle Grammar book two. Um, if you want to use the Gentle Grammars, uh, this is the free version, just the printable. But they're very, if you want to get a nice pre-printed books, uh, I've bought them before. I want to say it was only like six bucks when I bought them off of Amazon. And um, they were they were really nice, nice, nicely put together and very cute. So if you wanted to use Gentle Grammar, just in our experience with them, and of course, Maybe it's because William's kind of young, but I wouldn't do any grammar really in first grade besides just what you talk about, what comes up as you read. And then second grade, if you want to start gentle grammar, I would do book one for second grade and then maybe book two for third grade. So that just seemed, I because we actually stopped, we got into, we went through book one and we got into book two with William for, in second grade and it just wasn't, it was a little... It was requiring too much of me explaining. So I just, so we kind of just paused it anyways. <laughs> and we went just to um, a sentence, like studying a sentence, kind of workbook resource, how to write a sentence. And um, we've been doing that, just focusing on the sentence level instead. And speaking of sentence writing, I think I may have him do this, how to write a super sentence, or write a super sentence by Evan Moore. We'll probably take a pause like I'll probably whenever I do something like this I'm definitely gonna pause like this kind of thing you I don't try to do these at the same time <laughs> but just to focus very closely on the sentence itself and coming up with his own sentences and how to put them together and make them super sentences better than just the, the bare minimum of a sentence right um, right this year I'm just trying to get the bare minimum a correct just bare minimum simple sentence this is going to take you them a little farther. History. So history is something uh, we do. We do that as a family subject. 
and we'll just be using the Good and the Beautiful Year 2. So I won't go too far into that. Um, that's what we're going to be using. We're going to do that family style. For his science this year, I wanted to do like space and stuff like that this year, uh, a subcoming year. So I was actually, I was just planning on just getting some on my own, just getting some books and kind of piecing it together. But so I said what I really wanted was a Christian worldview science curriculum. And if you're just out there, just, oh, there's a nice book for kids about space or whatever. 99% um, chance it's not going to have that worldview represented. So I just went ahead and went over to Apologia and ordered the astronomy science curriculum. So it's like from K through I think sixth grade or something like that. So you could do that family style too if you had multiple kids. They had a junior notebook, I think, which was like kindergarten through second grade. And then they had like third through sixth. It was like the regular notebook. So, um, yeah, we're going to be doing that this year with William, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I went ahead and got the little activity guide um, because I know he's going to want to do. He's like all about experiments or hands-on stuff. So I just went ahead and did that, and I don't, I've don't. i ordered it. It's not here yet. So I'm gonna actually going to link for you a video um, another homeschool mom made where she was review. She's already done it and she's reviewing it for you. And it was a really good video. So if you want to see Apologia's uh, astronomy curriculum for elementary students, I will link a video down below. Yeah, I think we've covered it all. If you have any questions about anything I showed you today, leave me a comment and I will answer it. And besides that, happy homeschooling. Bye.